Right, here's the final example for basic solution. We start with ClO minus hypochlorite reacting with CrO2 minus forming CrO4 2 minus chromate plus chloride and this is going to be in sorry basic solution So first thing we're going to do is break it into half reactions, ClO minus, form Cl minus, and then CrO2 minus, form CrO42 minus. Uh, mass is balanced here, so mass is okay. The chlorines are the same, the chromiums are the same. So we can just leave it on this line and go ahead to the next step and balance the oxygen. We're going to add water to the right hand side and two waters to the left hand side. In the next step we're going to balance the hydrogen so it'll be 2H plus to the left hand side and then the second one will be 4H plus to the right hand side. So let's go ahead and um, summarize that. Got 2H plus plus ClO minus form Cl minus plus H2O. And then two waters plus CrO2 minus form CrO4 2 minus plus 4H plus. So we get the hydrogen in there and the oxygen. Next is going to be the charge and so you want to make the charge the same. Uh, the first half reaction is two positives and one negative so that's an overall plus one. On the right hand side it's minus one so you're going to add this one's tricky two electrons so that it's negative one on both sides. The second half reaction you've got two negative and four positive so you're going to add two electrons on the um, what happened here? I got one. Hold on. Let me redo that one. Okay, do the second one again. So you've got uh, on the left hand side you got minus one, the right hand side you've got plus two, so you're going to add three electrons to the right hand side so that you've got a total of on the right side two minus here, four positive and then three negatives so that overall it's going to be minus one on the right which is the same as what you got on the left. That one's tricky. All right, uh, the next step then would be probably to rewrite this again because it's messy. Alright, so then the next step would be to multiply the top half reaction times 3, the bottom half reaction times 2, and rewrite that all over again. And we could probably add them up too. So we've got 6 electrons plus 6H plus plus 3 ClO minus plus 4 H2O plus 2 CrO2 minus, that's all the left hand side, plus 
forming three chlorides. Fix that, hold on. Plus three waters plus two chromate plus eight H plus plus six electrons. The six electrons cancel. Six hydrogens are going to cancel with six of the two hydrogens, so there's going to be two left over. And then three waters are going to cancel with three waters here, so you got one left over. And then you can rewrite this as 3 ClO minus plus water plus 2 CrO2 minus forms 3 Cl minus plus 2 CrO4 2 minus plus 2H plus. Oops. Okay, let me check my notes here, see if that looks right. Yep, looks good. Okay, so you can check this by inspection. You got three chlorides, uh, four, seven oxygens. No, that's not right. Four, yeah, eight oxygens on each side. Two hydrogens, two chromiums. The charge on the left is five minus. The charge on the right is three minus plus four minus is seven minus. So it's five minus as well. So it's negative five on both sides. Okay, now the next step is to uh, take care of the H pluses by adding OH minus to each side. So you're going to add two OH to both sides with the goal of uh, getting rid of the H plus. So that's going to be equal to two waters. That's basically the technique. And then write it again as 3 ClO minus plus water plus 2 CrO2 minus plus 2 hydroxides forms 3 Cl minus plus 2 CrO4 2 minus plus 2 waters. And then you just cancel stuff in the end. So you got uh, one too many waters, and that's basically it. Final reaction is going to be 3 ClO minus plus 2 CrO2 minus plus 2 OH minus forms 3 Cl minus plus 2 CrO4 2 minus plus water. And then you want to check for balance again. I'm just going to look at my notes here to see. Make sure we got it all right. And it looks good. All right, thanks.